when the cancer was first diagnosed two years ago, it was obviously a bolt from the blue. Very unexpected as most such diagnoses are. As a physician, I knew it was not good and my world just fell apart. All the golden and wonderful years of life that I have expected to live up to and was looking forward to, that all became a very dim and very dark future. I believe I went into a state of depression, no desire to do anything fun, no energy, not able to sleep, having these emotional bursts, which I hid from my wife and family. So it was a very dark place I was in at the time. And you go looking for the best possible treatment, but there was no treatment for my state of mind. Yes, the cancer may be treatable. What could I get to help alleviate my mental suffering and the anguish that was plaguing me every day? To my scientifically trained mind, for me to believe that anything works, I need proof. And there were several studies in which patients were treated with a psychedelic agent, psilocybin, and there was dramatic improvement in their state of mind. I had never had a psychedelic in my life before, and I had zero idea what to expect from it. It was a very relaxed atmosphere. The setting was much more like a place of recovery and like a living room with a nice couch. There were some flowers in a little vase there. And there was some background sounds of birds, which was very soothing, very calming. My personal guide, Bob Kaufman, a military psychiatrist, was in the room with five little white capsules. They looked so innocuous, but I knew what they contained. The promise of an experience beyond belief. So you swallow the pills, you put on the eye shades and Bluetooth headphones that stream the music into your ear. And the therapist does not utter a word, but you know he's there by your side. And you only see what your mind shows you. Don't worry, just trust and let go and everything will be all right. Initially, I just felt extremely relaxed and comfortable. I felt that I was transported back to a little village in India with children playing, the sound of the flute in the background. And then at some point, the transition from just imagining something to starting to see something was almost like sudden. And I suddenly start seeing these amazing visuals of fractals, scintillating colors, millions of colors exploding in front of my eyes. Everything seemed to fill my entire visual field. My mind is coordinating the visual images with the music that I'm hearing. So it's a symphony of sound and music and visual images and ideas and thoughts that is constantly being bombarded. But as it goes on, I lose control of what I'm seeing and my mind is just blasting those images at me millions of frames a second. It transitions to some techno music, electronic music, which feels almost like a robotic entity speaking to you. I saw visions of untold horrors, wars, famine, pestilence. They had told us that you might see a lot of strange things, unusual things, don't be afraid. And lo and behold, without any warning, suddenly I see this giant Ferris wheel rolling towards me. And instead of having people in it, it had nothing but crabs on each seat. And these crabs had these giant pincers and their mouth parts were moving and it was rolling towards me. The astrological sign for cancer is the crab and my physician mind immediately made that connection. The crab equals cancer. So that's my cancer coming towards me to consume me, to devour me. And I grabbed Bob's hand and I said, Bob, I'm afraid because I think my cancer is coming towards me. And he says, Pradeep, don't be afraid. Stand up, go forward, face it, fight it. And as I stood my ground, it just disappeared in a puff of smoke. And I said, okay, I've conquered the beast. And that is very gratifying. And I wanted to sit for some time and just keep my eyes open because that sort of drove all those images away. But Bob said, no, Pradeep, you have to get back in there. That's the therapy. That's what you need to do. And that is what they tell you that this is all about, to face your fears. It's possible to defeat your demons because they're nothing but creations of your own mind. So if your mind can create them, your mind can also destroy them. As I went through it, after about two, maybe three hours, I started getting a sense of profound calm and peacefulness. 
I'm a very passionate amateur photographer, mostly interested in nature, especially wildlife. A smile crept up on my face and I was at peace. If you could experience nirvana, this would be it. This would be the state to be in. And I told Bob, I said, Bob, I'm feeling very good. He says, Pradeep, that's the feeling. Hang on to it, grab hold of it and just keep going with it. I'm getting goose pimples as I'm trying to describe that experience. It was just unbelievably powerful, which is, I think, a way for my brain to tell me that, look, Pradeep, you've got cancer, fine, and you may die, just like anybody can die from anything. But so what? Death is not really the end of life. I don't know if that makes sense. That there is something that goes on beyond death. And even if we die, it is not something to be afraid of. So the visions are initially very powerful, very colorful. But as the time passes, the intensity of the color starts to fade and they become more gray, white and black, more monochrome. And then the intensity starts to fade as well. I took off my headphones and the world came flooding back with brightness and colors in the room. I was emotionally drained. I did not want to talk too much. There was so much to process and yet I was very happy that I had done this. A lot of what I experienced, feelings I had afterwards, they are still with me. I am not as depressed as I used to be. The feeling of brotherhood with every human being, the feeling of love for everything that I see in nature now, the affection for my family, for my wife, the desire to be a better human being, a better husband, a better physician, a better father, grandfather, all of those things, that is still there. experience totally reframed my view of my diagnosis. I've come out a new man and I'm still that new man. Pradeep 2.0, that's the new me. Psilocybin has taught me to stop worrying about what if. Enjoy the moment here and now. Life is limited anyway, so why struggle with the quantity? Focus on the quality. There are so many worlds beyond the stars. <laughs>